overall, I am pleased that I've decided to take the plunge and have the hair transplant, and now it's just a waiting game. Today is Friday, and I went into the clinic again this morning for the post-op consultation, where they have taken off the bandages. So I have took some pictures, and I will try and flip around a little bit. So they take off the bandages, um, a nurse does that, and then you meet with the doctor. So with myself, will look good. I'm just looking forward to at least six months seeing some progression. It is day three after surgery. So it is the end of day five after surgery. So tonight is Hello, so this is seven days after surgery. So this is the one week update. So today is day 14 of my hair transplant journey. So two weeks ago today, I had hair transplant FUE in Istanbul at Elite Hair. Hello, hello. So today is eight weeks since my FUE hair transplant in Turkey. Hello, hello, so this is my three month update. So 12 weeks today, I had my FUE hair transplant in Turkey. So when I've looked at the pictures from before and then obviously straight after surgery, you can tell that some of it is in positions where there were some existing hairs. Now they probably were on the dying, you know, the last leg, so maybe it would have gone back. But I guess for me, you know, especially what I look like now, it doesn't look too different. And I guess that's the point though, isn't it? They want a natural hairline. Hello, so this is the uh, four month update. It was 2,300 grafts at the front and a further 1,200 on the crown. Hopefully you can see that. Hello, this is my five month update. So today is Friday the 18th of December. My transplant was Thursday the 23rd of July, so it's 21 weeks yesterday since my transplant. So it was 2,300 grafts at the front and then 1,200 grafts on the crown area. So 3,500 in total and especially on the crown. So it's looking really good. So say we're on five months, I'm really, really impressed with it. So I do take Regain, the foam, and I rub that in. So I do that once a day, that's in the evening. Six months, it has flown by, but obviously the hair itself is looking good. It's getting long as well. So here is a brush. It does grow, which is the main thing because basically for, ye for you know the last few years, the hair on this side just stopped growing like up there. So as it's getting longer, there's more that can be done. Now the hairline itself, I'll try and show that off. Hello, hello. So this is my eight month update. Um, so I'll be getting it cut then. Um, show you the back. I'm at a weird angle with this. And I do still take, um, Finasteride, I don't take finasteride every day. Hello, hello, this is my 12 month update video. I'm just gonna try and do a really quick one. I'm in a hotel, I've had to come down south for a wedding. So I had 2,300 grafts at the front and then 1,200 grafts on my crown. So 3,500 in total. And I've gone from essentially being a Norwood 3 Vertex to a Norwood 2. I mean, I'm happy with my transplant, definitely. I think I look so much better, you know, and I've seen so many videos of other people online who I think look better with hair. I'm an advocate for hair, but equally, if you do look good bald, like shave it off. There's nothing worse than looking balding, you know, receding. Some people need to know when to let go. For me, getting a transplant, obviously it's not an easy decision. And of course, 2,400 pounds, not everyone has it, you know, and it's, it is a lot of money. For me, it was the right decision. I'm glad I did. You know, there are some imperfections, of course. You've got to expect that. I think because I, I have expected that, I've been quite chilled about the whole experience. That's why I've not been, been stressed. But for me, that 2,400 price to go from what I did to this, totally, totally worth it.